So here are some exercises for you to do to reinforce everything we've just been learning. And I've mentioned this before, but I'll just say it again, that the hands-on part is super important. And that if you want to be a good coder, if you want to know how to build websites and know how to build them well, it's like any craft and it takes time to learn. And the time that you spend learning needs to be time on task. So you want to put in time every day and drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. And these exercises are just yet one more opportunity for you to practice your skills and continue building and growing your skills. So time on task, doing the hands-on exercises. As a student, super important. I've seen this time and time again, year after year as an instructor. Uh, most of the game in life is just showing up and doing the work. <laughs> so if you do that, you're going to get better. It's just a question of time. Just keep doing it and you're going to get better. All right. So just because I'm only giving you these exercises, seven of them, and you could see them right here on this page. I'm going to go over them in a second. But just because I'm only giving you these seven exercises does not mean that's all you should do. As you're learning this, this, this material, I really encourage you to just stop uh, whatever lecture you've just gone through, after you've watched the lecture, stop and practice the skills I've just shown you, whatever it is. Build your own page, try it out on your own. So that's the way you learn. Okay, so here are the exercises for this section that uh, I really strongly recommend you should do. <laughs> First exercise is to create two files, an HTML file and a CSS file. Name the files using standard naming conventions. Link the CSS file to the HTML file. That's the first one. The next one is to take the CSS file you created in the previous challenge and put that CSS file in a folder, use standard naming conventions for the folder, and make sure the index.html file and the main CSS file are still linked. And then I want you to create this page right here and use Emmet to build your structure. So we have four headings, and uh, they're heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four. And then we have a paragraph with lorem ipsum text. And then I want you to create this page right here and use Emmet to build the structure. So we have an unordered list and an ordered list with items in each. And then I want you to create this page right here and it's going to be a link to an image with a relative reference and an anchor tag, a hyperlink to Google, which will open in a new browser window. And, uh, and then after that, I want you to add comments to the HTML document you created in the previous section. So this one right here. Uh, maybe I'll say previous example. That's right. That's good. And identify which of these URLs are relative URL and which, which are absolute URLs. So I just want you to look at these URLs, and you should be able to identify which are absolute and which are relative. In the next video, I'm going to go through each of those challenges, and I'm going to create my solution so you can see how I solved them.